You're going to listen to this and, and tell me what's wrong with this mathematically. Okay, so big friendly giant. The butler, an imposing personage named Mr. Tibbs, was in supreme command of all the palace servants, and he did the best he could in short time available. Now, a man does not rise to become queen's butler unless he is gifted with extraordinary ingenuity, adaptability, versatility, dexterity, cunning, sophistication, sagacity. I had to look up sagacity. Do you guys know what sagacity means? It's, it's the quality of being sagacious. So then I looked that up. It means wisdom and good judgment. Discretion and a host of other talents that neither you nor I possess. Mr. Tibbs had them all. He was in the butler's pantry sipping an early morning glass of light ale when the order reached him. The giant is visiting the queen and he needs to be prepared a meal. In a split second, he had made the following calculations in his head. If a normal six foot man requires a three foot high table to eat off, a 24 foot giant, so four times larger, will require a 12 foot high table. If a six foot man requires a chair with, with a two foot high seat, a 24 foot giant will require a chair with an eight foot high seat. Everything, Mr. Tibbs told himself, must be multiplied by four. Two breakfast eggs must become eight. Four rashers, four rashers of bacon must become 16. I don't know what a rasher of bacon is, it's British. Three pieces of toast must become 12, and so on. These calculations about food were immediately passed to Monsieur Papillion, the royal chef. Okay, what's wrong with his math? It, this has something to do with what we discussed in the last lecture. Yeah, that's right. That's what it is. So the linear dimensions scale linearly, but his volume scales cubically. So by weight, he is 64 times bigger than the average human. So he would need to eat 64 times as many eggs, right? Because volume and therefore weight scales cubically. So Mr. Tibbs had all these extraordinary talents, but math training was not one of them. And you know another thing, this is a, a personal, uh, a small pet peeve. Uh, they say baking is a science, that everything needs to be extremely precise. You've heard that? Yeah, but then the recipes say three eggs. But an egg, you know, if you buy a large egg, it would be about this big not to scale. And if you buy an extra, extra large egg, jumbo egg, it'll be this big, right? About 25% bigger, maybe even more, right? But 25% bigger is probably twice as big in terms of volume. Because, you know, root three, excuse me, cubic root of two is the factor that you would need for the egg to be twice the amount. Right, and this is what, 1.2, I don't know, 1.28? I'm just <laughs> guessing, right? So baking is not a science unless you specify eggs by volume and not by count. Yeah, things scale in a way that if you haven't thought about it, you, you're gonna get it wrong. <laughs>